let's talk walking sticks or walking poles or hiking sticks or hiking poles call them what you will I think they're great don't think you're a baby if you use them because they're brilliant let me give you a few tips on how to use them first off we'll look at the ends now these are the ferrules they come off as you see and these are the bits that wear out and need replacing what I found was when I first started using these, if you look at the end here, there's a little hole in there, and in there, there is a spike. Like, oh, oh well, never mind. There's a spike that comes out the end here. If you put that on top of it, you'll find that it actually wears through the centre, as this one's doing here, very quickly. So I've actually taken mine out. The problem you're left with is you have to keep an eye don't wear these down too quickly otherwise you'll start damaging the pole itself. The other reason for taking them out or keeping them covered is that some treks now ban the use of them because they're finding that they're damaging the trails. Okay how do we use these things? Well the first thing you've got to do is set the height to use them at. So if you un... un if you undo them, that's it. Okay, undo it, and we'll set the height. We'll set the height. Right, now, mostly, you should set them like this. Have your hand, your arm, at right angle to your, to your body, like that, and you set this at that height ground and that's the starting point. Now try it at that and some people say they prefer it above, some people say they prefer it below. Use it and find out. Start there. Right, so you set your height and then we, you can start, set your height and you can start using them. I have mine about just on this stop actually. At 13. Okay, so you can start using them. Good. Now, how do we use them? Well, you don't grip on to the hand grips here. Like you don't ever want to let them go. Don't hold them like that. You'll soon get tired hands. What you do is you use the straps. You put your hand in through the strap from, from the inside, as it were, like that. On both of them like that, not that way, this way, and you make sure that this piece of the strap is across your palm, like that, because that's where the pressure is going to go, you're not pushing down through your hands, you're pushing down through your palm, like that, so that's how we go, that's how we walk like that. Ha hang on a minute, sorry, hang on, I just got to show you, I just got a bee come and landed on my hand while I'm doing the filming. Oh, wonderful. It's not flying away. Oh, oh, there, there he goes. goes. <laughs> I see, I always knew you were a, you were a nectar flower. <laughs> so you must have something about you. Now, now, now he's buzzing me. Off this, right? okay. Let's carry on then. So, that's how you use them. And when you're walking with your poles, you don't walk like that. <laughs> which is very ungainly, very difficult, but it's something you tend to do sometimes when you first start using it. Obviously it's one foot and then the opposite pole. So you're walking like that. Now oh, don't... can't see. Hang on, because you're walking into the sun. Sorry. It's alright, you keep moving. Walking like that. Yeah, okay. Go back a bit, just to show. Get a bit funny with it. Don't take your pole further than forward than your foot. So have your pole go on a line with your foot, like this. And make sure your pole's at about a 70 degree angle, so you're pushing down and pushing yourself up. You're not using it like you would a walking stick. You're actually transferring some of the muscle power you have to use from your legs to your upper body. So you can do a bit of a swagger. And you sort of swagger, push down, push down. 
I'm exaggerating now, but that's the way it is. That adds power to your walkway. The other thing to try and do is to keep your back straight, chest out. In fact, if you put your pole behind you and you stand like that, that is really the sort of position you want your body to be in. Upright and not bent over. Although if you have a heavy pack on, sometimes it's handy just to bend forward very slightly to make sure your central gravity is down straight through your legs. Okay, that's that. That's how you use poles. If you come to a, a hill, you can shorten the length of these get you up the hill a bit more. If you come to a very steep downward hill, you can lengthen them up about 10 inches to uh, take the pressure off your knees as you go downhill. And it's a slightly different motion going downhill. You're best off if you put your stick or your pole forward of your foot this time as you go down rather than level. So slightly forward, you're taking the pressure off. If it's an extraordinary street hill, you can put both your poles together forward, or if it's even steeper, you put the pole forward, bring your foot to the pole, other foots are there, and you can go down like that using the feet again. So extremely versatile, very handy. That's the poles. See you next time.